Hey everyone, welcome to the Jam Jar Junkies channel. For this week, we are going to be doing a Day of the Dead theme jar. For that, I found a sugar skull. You can find a sugar skull that you like as well doing a Google image search. So the first thing we're going to do is copy our design on our clear contact paper. So go ahead and measure out enough contact paper for your design and cut it out. You'll only have to trace around the skull itself. You do not need to trace inside the skull with the design at this point. So you only need to trace the outline of the skull. You do not have to trace any of the designs inside because we're only trying to protect the jar from the areas that we do not want our background paint to get on. I wanted a Halloween color to paint this particular jar and I wanted a darker color. So I chose this purple. It is a purple pansy and I'm also going to mix it with just a little bit of this violet color pen to make it a little bit lighter than the pansy color to create the shade that I like. After it has dried, you can go ahead and start to remove your image. Once you have removed your pattern, go ahead and trace around your pattern. After you trace around your skull, then you can start filling in all the details. To do that, I copied the pattern and I'm going to tape it inside the clear area where my pattern was. Remember, you can put as many or as few details in your design as you like. There are simpler versions that you can print off, or if you like a more complex version, you can also print it and design it the way you like. Trace over your design with a thin tip paint marker or your detail brush. Remember, you can put as much of the design as you want or as little of the design as you want. After you finish tracing your design, you're ready to begin painting each part. I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but I finished tracing. Now I'm just gonna fill in with bright colored paint in a variety of colors, just like a sugar skull would be. I've selected the main colors that I'm gonna be using for my color scheme. I like this pure pink, this light blue, Blue, this purple glitter paint, this neon green, and then a little bit of this yellow. After you get your color scheme the way you like, you go back in and paint the skull itself white. Once your pattern is completely painted, you can use this as a decoration for Day of the Dead. You can always add your tea light to it and make it into a lantern. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. See y'all next time.